Here at Home Bay County's annual Veterans Day Parade and Ceremony drew thousands of people. High school bands joined veteran organizations along the parade route, which ended at the county government center. As News 13's Alexia Chiropolis tells us, there were several generations of service members honored today. We wouldn't have this country without our veterans. They're our best and brightest. Veterans Day is about celebrating all men and women who've served in our nation's different military branches. For some, it's a tradition. I grew up, you know, idolizing my grandfather who was an Air Force veteran. U.S. Air Force Chaplain Captain Jacob Williams believes recognizing our veterans is not just a once a year event. I hope today that we leave this place and we, we stay in this constant state of, of honoring. It should be every day of the year. We all need to take the time to listen to their stories, learn from their experiences, and thank them all for what they have done for us and our great nation. Northwest Florida U.S. Reserve Ambassador Michael Tileman says Panhandle communities respect and appreciate the military. We've had men and women doing enormous jobs not only in wartime, but in peacetime. And for some, like former News 13 anchor and veteran Jerry Brown, family military service dates back to World War I. In World War II, had uncles that served there. My brother was airborne paratrooper in Korea, and my service was in the Army Reserve. But supporting the military isn't just one day a year. In Bay County, Alexia Teropolis, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Colonel Collin from Tyndall Air Force Base was the keynote speaker for today's ceremony.